come on stand and be about to react to this video by Nikki Swift. This is uncomfortable Oscar speeches that made audience squirm. So they're about to get some awkward, you know, Oscar speeches or whatever. I'm not sure what they're gonna say exactly. Like, how can you make it awkward? What are you gonna say? I wanna thank my cat. Like, what are you gonna say that's weird that makes people uncomfortable? I don't know. I'm about to be chugging this this entire video, so I don't think I'm weird. But I'm going to the gym after this. <laughs> And this is my pre-workout. I just add it to water. It's this body tech pre-workout, if you're wondering. It gives me a lot of energy. It just has a very nasty chemical taste, but you know, check it out if you need some energy for the gym or whatever, um, cause it's very effective. But yeah, let's see these uncomfortable Oscar speeches. Let's watch. There's nothing quite like the annual Academy Awards, which brings together Hollywood's most elite filmmakers and actors for a That's celebration nasty, of the year's most impressive oh. films and performances. For those lucky few who get to take home a trophy from the lavish showcase, it's the role of a lifetime to get to deliver an acceptance speech from the stage. I want to say thank you to everybody. But every once in a while, winners manage to make things extremely awkward. Between cringeworthy comments and political overtures, these Oscar winners definitely made audiences squirm while accepting their big prizes. Sam Smith. Everything seemed to be going swimmingly for British singer Sam Smith when he won the 2016 Academy Award for Best Original Song for his Spectre theme, The Writings on the Wall. But things got awkward when Sam Smith erroneously implied that he was the first openly gay man to receive an Oscar. I read an article a few months ago by Sir Ian McKinnon, and he said that no openly gay man had ever won an Oscar. But McKellen's comments had been about the Best Actor Award specifically, which made fans of other openly gay winners like Elton John and Dustin Lance Black scoff in disbelief at Smith's false claim. Mm. So I basically said that I was the first gay person to ever win an Oscar. You thought somebody else Smith said. quickly apologized for the gaffe and blamed a few too many sips of tequila for the slip. I wasn't happy with my performance and we thought we had no chance of winning at all. So I was just like, let's just get the party started. And um, then we won. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> La La Land. Yeah. To be fair, the discomfort caused by the final moments of the 2017 Oscars was by no means the recipient's fault. After being announced as the winners of the Best Picture Oscar, three La La Land producers were in the middle of their acceptance speeches when it came to light that fellow nominee Moonlight had actually won the award. Damien Chazelle, we're standing on your shoulders. We lost, by the way. No, there's a mistake. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Presenter Warren Beatty had received an incorrect envelope, which led to the now infamous blunder. We lost, Moonlight's by the way. director and producers but ultimately got the it. chance to issue their own things, but before they could revel in the night's biggest prize, Beatty decided he had to clear things up from the same stage. I opened the envelope. I was just talking about that in another said, video. <laughs> Emma Stone, La La Land. Not only did the mistake inspire I'm a Shama Laka, the whatever his show, name is, he but finds. But also responsible <laughs> for some of the wildest audience reaction shots the Oscars have ever known. Marlon Brando. At the 1973 Academy Awards, attendees were shocked after Marlon Brando was announced as the winner of the Best Actor Award for The Godfather. Not because he didn't deserve it, but because a young woman in Native American dress appeared in Marlon Brando's place. And things got weirder from there. As she approached the podium, she refused to accept the statue from presenter Roger Moore, and instead explained that she was Sasheen Littlefeather, president of the National Native American Affirmative Image Committee, and would be representing Brando. She then said Brando would not accept the award. The reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry. Some members of the audience booed while others applauded. And the incident also reportedly caused the Academy to ban winners from using other people to accept or in yeah, this case weird. refuse Why their awards. That? In a 2016 interview with the Los Angeles Times, Little Feather, an activist and an actress, described how she was subsequently ostracized by the show business community saying, the government was madder than hell. They told everyone in the studios in Hollywood not to hire me or they would shut them down. I was blacklisted or you could say redlisted. Johnny Carson, Dick Cavett, they didn't want me on their shows. In recent years, Brando and Little Feather's actions have been reframed with Jada Pinkett Smith crediting Little Feather as an inspiration for her boycott of the 2016 Oscars over a lack of diversity. Gwyneth Paltrow. Paltrow's 1999 win for Best Actress for her performance in Shakespeare in Love prompted a speech that has since been called the day Oscar sincerity died. Accepting her Oscar, a visibly overcome Paltrow gave a seemingly endless speech that was slammed for excessive weepiness. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in this auditorium, let alone up here, if it wasn't for two incredibly talented men. Her words may have been heartfelt, but if she'd have delivered that kind of performance in the movie, chances are she wouldn't have won that trophy in the first place. Eleanor Burkett. 
And what's been People the Academy shady. Awards Kanye West moment, journalist Eleanor Burkett made things super uncomfortable when she rushed the stage during Roger Ross Williams' 2010 acceptance speech for Best Documentary Short oh. Subject. Yeah. The man this is so exciting. Talk. <laughs> it's not just so exciting. the classic thing. She then launched into her own acceptance speech, making for seriously uncomfortable and confusing Girl. It turned out that the two had serious beef over the winning film, Music by Prudence. Burkett reportedly came up with the idea for the film and had been a producer, but later left the project. She even sued Williams and claimed that she hadn't received proper credit for her involvement, while he denied her claim to the picture. Oh, no, she and did. everybody thinks I was bad for interrupting him, so they don't think he was bad for, like, bigfooting me. Whatever the reason for their tiff, it made for the kind of stage drama you don't expect to see from any category, let alone this one. Right. Angelina Jolie. Long before she became a global humanitarian and mother to six, Angelina Jolie developed a reputation so for being pretty. something of a wild child in the late 90s. Her portrayal of a sociopath in Girl Interrupted earned her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in 2000. And if people didn't know she was strange before, they certainly found out as much during her acceptance speech for the award. Jolie had been joined at the event by her brother James Haven, whom she basically oh, made out with on the red carpet. And instead of running through the usual list of people to thank, Jolie turned her attention again to her relationship with him. I'm in shock, and I'm so in love with my brother right now. <laughs> he just held me and said he loved me, and I know he's so happy for me. All due respect to their tight-knit sibling status and all, but that is enough to make any audience uncomfortable. Okay, yeah, girl, you weird. I would never kiss my brother or any of my relatives on the lips. I'm gonna kiss my male friends on the lips. Ugh, I'm not kissing you. Um, so that is weird. They definitely made it awkward. But I was looking up um this dude's name, and it's Mosh... Ma Mahershala Ali. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but I didn't, you know, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to sound ignorant, but um, because it's probably like an African name or something. But it's, you know, he's fine as fuck. That's all I know. Um, and Trevante, <laughs> I think I'm saying his name right. Trevante Rose. I was talking about him in another video, but anyway, that's besides the point. These people were super awkward. They made it uncomfortable, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Y'all, let me know what y'all thought. Though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.